Hey guys, Metal Breakdown here, so it's my fifth video today, but the first one that I will upload. After that, I'm going outside, uh, because it's a beautiful day, and yeah, five videos is fucking too much. <laughs> because I'm doing two reactions for tonight, and two reactions for when I'll be on vacation in two weeks. And now, this album review. So, yeah, I'm here to talk about the brand new album by Chelsea Grin. It's called Eternal Nightmare, first album with uh, Tom Barber as uh, the lead singer of the band, replace replacing Alex. I think he left because he had some alcohol problem, which is really sad. But I'll tell you one thing right away, guys. Um, I think I prefer Al uh, not Alex. I pr I prefer Tom Barber as the singer of Chelsea Grin. It's really hard to say with only one album, but he's doing such a fantastic job. But on the other end, I don't know uh, Alex that well. I only react to a couple of songs with Alex. Don't Ask, Don't Tell, uh, Playing With Fire, and Clockwork, and American Dream. I think that's all. Uh, but from what I've heard, this album, the new album by Chelsea Grin, is way better than the one that they released before. I don't know if it's better than all the albums that they did with Alex, but everyone seems to say that it's better than their last album. Just trying to find the name right now. Um, wait a few seconds. I had it right here. So, Self Inflicted. I think the only song I listened to. Uh, from this one was American Nightmare and it was like a bonus track so yeah for me to judge Alex on only these few songs is unfair so I might do more reactions from old school Chelsea Grin but so yeah this will be more from an outsider perspective since I don't know the band that much but I'll tell you everything you need to know about the new album by Chelsea Grin Eternal Nightmare it's still so fucking dead core and yeah, I'll talk mainly about my top 5 in that review, so let's fucking do this, guys, for the review of Eternal Nightmare by Chelsea Grin. So, uh, before I start with my top 5, uh, I need to talk about some honorable mentions, and yeah, these are Ted Rose, which was the first single, a really good track, but believe it, um, all the songs on this album, well, not all the songs, but my top five was better than the really first single, which was amazing at first. Still amazing now, but you'll see that there's even better song on this album. Also, uh, the song Sand of Evil is one of my honorable mention. And the second single, Hostage. So, it will be interesting to see if... Uh, the third single, See You Soon, made my top 5, you'll see in a few seconds. So, in the fifth position in my top 5, I went with the song, um, 9.30 AM. Uh, this one is really short, being not even 3 minutes long, and I think that all the songs in my top 5 are longer than, uh, 3 minutes. Um, but this is so heavy, and it will remind, uh, yeah, it will truly remind you why you love Ted Core so much when you will listen to this one. Right away, it's at the beginning of the album. Uh, well, not that much at the beginning, like near the half of it anyway. <laughs> uh, the breakdown is insane and I want to be in a mush pit so bad and destroy everything when I listen to this one. It's so good, that great. Uh, it is another song in which the vibe is really... Uh, kind of dark with vocals saying like we will never see the light of days and there's also a part saying everything is going to be okay no <laughs> super strong and yeah uh, you'll see there's another really dark one the fourth one in my top five also uh, it was one of my favorite song on the first listen might even be my favorite one after the first listen but after listening to the album a couple of times and truly analyzing the other songs even more, it's in the fifth in the fifth place, still making the top five, but not the best one on the album. Anyway, um, in the fourth position, now you have the answer of the question I asked before, uh, because in the fourth place I put "See You Soon," which was uh, the third single. 
I didn't say it in my reaction because I didn't feel it that way uh, after only one listen, but uh, yeah, it's my favorite single out of the three, so it's weird that they, put, they decided to release it in the third place and not before. Uh, but still, like I said, the two other singles made the honorable mention, so they were great as well. Um, the guitar in the, uh, the intro is so fucking cool, makes uh, this entire song even crazier. Just listen to the guitar and you'll understand what I mean. Uh, the covers is so dark, like in uh, 9.30 a.m., probably the two darkest song on the album, in my opinion, uh, with Tom Barber screaming, I'm taking grass for all my friends. Uh, the vibe of this song is so dark, like I said, um, and you truly feel some kind of hopelessness just by listening to it, which is crazy. It's that dark. Now entering the top three, and yeah, I put Eternal Nightmare, uh, the last song on the album. This song starts with Tom Barber screaming, Welcome to your eternal nightmare a couple of times before they'll ring a crazy riff and some high vocals, like high pitch vocals, uh, which are insane. You should do more of these. Um, I understand that uh, Chelsea Grin is not really a band that use high pitch vocals that much, but with Tom Va uh, Barber, I truly hope that they will use more of these kinds of vocals in the next album. Yeah, we're not there, they're releasing an album right now, so in two or three years when they'll do the next one, hopefully Tom Barber will still be in the band, they will use more of these. <laughs> Uh, but since the song starts with like this kind of intro with Welcome to uh, Your Eternal Nightmare and it's the title track, I think that it should have been the first song on the album and it's so good. Yeah, it made my top 3 so why not? I don't know but uh, the guys in the band probably prefer the first three singles or yeah, the first song on the album which is Dead Rose I think. Anyway. Um, this song even contains a guitar solo, so I was really happy with that uh, because I love solos and it's kind of weird that we see that in Deadcore. It's the second solo on the album, but the first one was way too short. I'm not even sure we can consider it a real guitar solo, but yeah. Uh, here the length of the solo is decent and it was way too good. In the second place in my top 5, I put all... Sorry, I'll restart. In, my, in the second place, in my top five, I put Outliers. Uh, this song starts with an amazing riff. After that, we have a few peaceful seconds of just like soft vocals. But it's not clean vocals, but when you'll hear the song, you'll understand. And then it goes super heavy again. There's a part saying, you can, you can save us. Yeah, you can't save us. You can't change us. This part is like the chorus. Um... And it's so fucking groovy, it feels like fucking heaven. I'm not even kidding, it's that great. Uh, this song also includes the lowest and slowest breakdown on the entire album, Eternal Nightmare. And you truly feel like the world is collapsing on yourself. Wow. <laughs> um, there's also some really weird noises in the last 20 seconds of this song. I'm not too sure of what this is about, but it was... It was Kind of weird and cool at the same time and my favorite song on the album it might change with time but for now i pick normally listen uh this is where you enter the grand finale of the last three songs on the album and the most grandiose part of eternal nightmare by chelsea green like you saw the last three songs on this album are in my top three uh it's that great if the album would have been as uh, that great like as the last three songs, it would have been a 10 on 10 and like one of the greatest dead core album of all time. Uh, it's not the case, but you'll see with the great I'll give to this album at the end of this video that it's so pretty fucking strong. Uh, the thing that really catch my attention in this song is the keyboard in the chorus. I think it's the only time on the album that they use a keyboard, at least that I noticed it. 
uh, it was still kind of subtle, but they should have used it way more often. It's just super cool addition to their sound. The breakdown after the first chorus is also really like fucking legendary, giving one of the greatest and most memorable moments of this album. The ending of the song is legendary as well. If Chelsea Green decided to do another music video for this album, Eternal Nightmare, they should really go with this one. My personal favorite of the album. So there you go for what I think of this album. For the other songs, um, Across the Earth was really cool. The Wolf was cool, but maybe a bit too weird and short for me. And yeah, really great album overall. I would give it like maybe 8.5 or 9 on 10. So yeah, really fucking strong. Uh, my Probably my personal favorite dead crawl album this year so far, and a really strong contestant for when I'll do the best album of July 2018. Make sure to subscribe to not miss when I'll do this video because you'll be able to vote for Eternal Nightmare as your favorite album of July, and it could win this title, which would be super fucking sick. But we still have a couple of other albums that are coming out this month, so. Yeah, I don't know for which one I'll vote yet, but this one is a super good contender. If you have heard the album already, make sure to tell me uh, what you think about it in the comment section. Do you like uh, Tom Barber as a replacement for Alex and Chelsea Green? Personally, I'm super happy. I think I love it even more. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure to pick up the album when it will be released on Friday, personally I'll do that um, as soon as I have the occasion, or you can pre-order the album on their website, I'll put the link in the, in the description, just support Chelsea Grin, they need you, they need the fan base. so yeah, uh, before you leave, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and simply thanks for watching guys, it truly means the world to me, I'll see you all in the next video.